there's obviously many seats here. We've seen some of the crowd sizes around Europe and the Euros as well. Is there a real hope that when those games come around that there could be a real big crowd here in those games? Yeah, and that has to be our ambition. There's various views on Hamden. Um, I take the view that you know we had just about 9,000 here for the Scotland game. We've got a playoff coming up with the national team before we get around to those um, Scottish Cup games. But I take the view that that sets a target for us. We've got a big stadium, so how do we fill it? For those that maybe think it's not possible, I think you just have to look down south to see what's happened down there this weekend to see it is possible. But we've all got a responsibility, and by that I mean the Scottish FA can take ownership of the competition and put it in Hamden. But we need the media to shine a spotlight on women's football and we'll constantly elevate it so that we're all talking about it. We need commercial partners to invest more in the game so that we can make the product better on the pitch. So it's about all of us coming together to really drive the game forward. Does it try and get these milestones to a point where they aren't really mentioned anymore, it's just normality that these things are happening. Yeah, it's a good point. It's about looking back to last season with games and stadiums, for example, and every game in a stadium, I went to every one because it was the first time that it happened and it was a brilliant occasion and with really good crowds, I think five and a half thousand at the Edinburgh Derby. But we want that to become something that's normal as you say and whether that happens four, five, six times a season but we want all these moments that are first at the moment just to become things that are second nature to us um, and we've made a lot of progress but it's about not standing still because other nations aren't standing still just now so we need to keep pushing as well. How important is it for the ladies to have the same opportunities as the men's teams? Massive, like I said I've got two daughters and I grew up playing football when I played football, I was the girl that played football because that pretty much was what identified me as the only girl in my school that played football. So we want to get away from that. We want it to be really normal for girls to play football. But to make that normal, we have to give them the same role models that boys have. They need to see those role models regularly. We want our Premier League players to be household names and that's what will give the girls the same opportunity as boys because they can genuinely look up to role models and believe that they can be professional players and they can stay here in Scotland and be professional players. And not everyone will do that, but knowing that it's possible for me is really important. Is there anything more you would call in uh, places like schools and communities to try and get young girls playing as well? I know there's quite a few schools don't offer for girls to actually play in a girls team and that can sometimes put them off. What would you urge them to do? I think everyone has a role to play. I've mentioned the media and partners schools, clubs, we can all do more for girls and women's football um, and I think what you saw in England at the weekend there was an 8-10 to 10 year plan coming to fruition. We at an earlier point, our strategy just launched last year, but that first contact point for girls with football, we want that to be younger, we need that to be a really enjoyable and positive experience because if it is, the chances are they'll keep playing and when they keep playing and see their role models on television and they think they can maybe play at Hamden one day, all those things feed into that likelihood that they'll stay involved in the game and it'll help us keep more girls and those numbers will continue to go up.